We're here with Tracy Hellum, who's doing a study on ULA and how it could help people with their depression. So what can you tell us about this? So we're looking at ULA as an intervention for depression in women. And this is a feasibility study, so we're just trying to understand how ULA works for depression in people that experience, or in women that experience depression. Um, we are looking for 30 women to participate, and they will attend um, ULA for 12 weeks, and during those 12 weeks we'll measure their depression with a, a severity scale called the Hamilton Depression Rating Scale. Okay, so um, for people who don't know what ULA is, what is ULA? So ULA is a, um, like a fitness class that is designed to be a fun workout. So it's not, you know, often we think about exercise and it's um, more of like a physical thing. And this does have a physical com component, but it's also um, really focuses on mental health and a place to go where you can dance and sing and connect with the community and have fun. So it's, it's not about how it looks, it's about how it feels, and it's a, a safe place for people to go and... Um, process their emotions or just dance and sing. Nice. And so what is the Hamilton Depression Scale? It is a semi-structured instrument that's, um, I mean some of this is going to be some technical research jargon, but it's a reliable and valid instrument that looks at the severity of depression. So people that have a higher score on the Hamilton Depression Rating Scale um, suggest that they have a higher level of depression. So when people start the study, they have to have a score of 16, which indicates moderate severity, and then our hope is that that score will go down with um, attending ULA. And is that uh, determined by questions? Yeah, there are 17 items okay. on the scale, and then okay. we ask questions, me or my assistant Hayden will ask, um, will conduct the interview. We just ask a series of questions about their mood and their energy and sleep and things like that. Okay, nice. And so where is, where is the ULA studio? Uh, the ULA studio is on Broadway. It's mm -hmm. next to Mismo or by Lighthouse Espresso. I can't remember if that's mm -hmm. what it's called, but it's on Broadway, and that's the studio that people can attend, the participants, and they'll have classes for free. But there's ULA classes all over Missoula, so they can attend classes anywhere, but um, they will get free classes if they go to the ULA studio. Great. And what does this uh, program mean to you? What does it mean to me? Uh, well, ULA came into my life at a very at a time when I really needed something that was happy and that, where I could go and dance and have fun. Um, I had experienced a couple miscarriages and like needed something to really uplift my spirits. So ULA is really special to me, and that's why I thought of the study design of looking at ULA for depression. Um, so I'm hopeful that it'll help other women that are struggling with. Um, but with clinical depression um, and possibly anxiety. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, getting all those endorphins out really helps you make you happy, and then looking forward to something mm -hmm. I really can think it really benefits too. Yeah, so, just a place to go to, like, I mean, where do you get to, like, sing and dance like nobody's watching? You just don't really get to do that anywhere, so ULA is a place where you can go and do that. That's true. I embarrassedly sing and dance everywhere. <laughs> but people are watching, and well, I just do it Well, then you should come anyway. to ULA. I know, I want to. You can fit right in. Yeah. And so how can people get in touch with you guys if they want to participate? Uh, they can email or call us, and Hayden is um, probably the best person for them to get in touch with. Is there a way for me to give you our email address? Yeah, I... yeah you can get yeah, just, say just say it. Just say okay. it, and then we'll, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so Hayden's email address is Hayden, H-A-Y-D-E-N dot Ferguson, F-E-R-G-U-S-O-N, and then the number one, at Montana dot E-D-U. Okay. Um, or his phone number is 243 Two five five one, and we can put that when we put everything on social media. We'll include that, mm -hmm. so when people want to sign up, excellent, awesome. And so, when did you start? When did you like think of this? When did you start this? Uh, well, I think the idea sort of evolved. I don't know, maybe in the summer, nice. and then we had with research at a university or with anywhere really that involves human subjects that requires going through an ethics committee. So we submitted to the ethics committee at Montana State University, and then. Um, we started recruiting about two weeks ago. That's awesome. And do you, how many women do you have so far? Three. Awesome. Great. Mm -hmm. And so you're looking for 27 more? Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Great. Well, is there anything else you want to say? Um, I think we covered it all. Great. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We'll be right back after this.